before coming here. And it was really something I wanted to get to know, like who I was, how I can manage my vibrations more, and really use this connection as source. I've been having um, experiences over the last couple of months that have given me the opportunity to really see where I've been able to move vibrations, see my thoughts clearer. But at times I still get stuck. And I want to be able to use more of the processes or get through the negativity quicker. Like right now I'm going through an instance at work where I'm dealing with someone who wants to leave that we've been working with. And it now hear those words. I'm dealing with an instance where, and of course, it seems prudent to focus upon where you are. We're just wanting to remind you that doing that continues the practice of that vibration. Right. And we know for sure that you've launched rockets that so far you're not talking about. In other words, there is clarity about what you want, but your words so far, that's all right, it's logical, it's human, <laughs> are more about what you don't want for sake of bringing someone else up to, down to speed. You see what we're getting at? Yeah, very clearly. So we do want to hear your story, but we also want to point that out. You don't want to give too much airtime to something that you're dealing with. <laughs> Usually people don't say, I'm dealing with the greatest bout of clarity that I have ever had in my life. <laughs> Abraham, I'm dealing with abundance like I've never seen before. You usually don't use the word dealing unless it's a challenge. And a challenge is resistance. Kind of don't want to talk about it now, do you? No. <laughs> Not at all. Well, what is it that you do want? What has this experience highlighted for you? What is in your vortex now in a clearer way in your vibrational reality? What is in the vibrational version that you're not quite yet letting yourself realize you're not quite in the receptive mode. So you don't quite know what to do, but what is it that is vibrationally over there? What is it that you desire as a result of this wonderful, no sarcasm there wonderful life experience that is causing expansion for you yeah well that's exactly how I'm holding it and there's like underneath I know that everything is working out for me and I know that this is really positive uh, and going so did you hear that distinction underneath not out here where I can see it it wasn't there yet <laughs> underneath all this crap is some good stuff <laughs> true <laughs> So more emphasis on the good stuff and less emphasis on the underneath. Yeah. Continue. <laughs> well, I guess in the vortex version, not I guess. But it's all right. We're not wanting to stop you from saying what you're saying. You are doing a wonderful job of demonstrating for everyone mm -hmm. what you typically do that causes you to throw resistance on your own path. That's as big as it gets. There's not someone trying to prevent you from your well being, and you're not self sabotaging deliberately. It's just reality causes you often to put stuff on your path that keeps you from moving in the direction of what you really want. We just want you to understand that you're doing it. So, you're about to tell us what's in the vortex that you are recognizing, the improvement that you can feel you're on your way to. We're going to ask you a question. I want all of you to really listen in because this is a perfect place for you to hear this. Do you believe us when we say that there is a vibrational version of you that is the full expanded version of you and that your inner being, that source stands there as that version and is calling you toward it? Yes. Do you accept that? Yeah. So since that is what's going on and since you are wherever you are, isn't it logical? that as you're being called on your path of least resistance that if you've got a bunch of resistance on your path that some of the resistance you're being called through might not feel so good as you're coming through it Ooh, that's really worth thinking about isn't it yeah very much which means now this is what we really want to say we really want you to hear this 
which means sometimes your own beloved brilliant pure positive energy inner being is calling you right through stuff you don't want on your way to what you do want ah oh, wow it's the path of least resistance it's not the path of no resistance eventually you'll never get there it's the path of least resistance and you are where you are so don't ask yourself to suddenly be someplace you're not you got to move from where you are so sometimes resistance is seen by you but as long as you have this knowing that you're moving and that it is getting better and 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 better you see you didn't say oh I'll go to the leading edge I'll go to this time space reality where everything that is expansion is born from but don't give me any resistance you didn't say that because you know that knowing what you don't want is necessary to focus into what you do want it's all part of it you just never expected to get big gaps between it you see so that's the reason that we're talking with you is we're just wanting to help you close that gap but we're not ever suggesting that you'll close it all the way so that you'll ever not want something that you don't have that's what eternalness is about that's what expansion is all about there's always got to be something that causes you to focus with greater clarity yes yeah so now that's happened to you talk about that and feel the fun of your path opening up as inspiration that's what that receptive mode is so before we go further in this conversation and we want to we want to demonstrate for you what the process is of creating reality don't you sort of kind of want to know that yeah how is reality created because Abraham you say that we are vibrational it doesn't seem all that vibrational to us there are textures and flesh blood and bones around and there's substance and there's gravity and there are bases and I'm perceiving life so vividly here this feels like reality and we say it is reality it's your receiving of reality it's your perceiving of reality so let's start with this vibrational reality this vortex version that you have been adding to all of the days of this life and even before so there is the true version of who you are in this vibrational reality you can't see it hear it smell it taste it, or touch it but you can feel your relationship with it through your emotions so here's this vibrational version of you and let's call it a vibrational version it's a vibration now some of you have been so kind to listen to us through all of the years of our rampages as we've taken you through you create your own reality to upstream downstream to get into the vortex and when we wrote a book a really good book about the vortex many of you came to the place where you said Abraham I accept that my abundance is in the vortex but how do I get it out of the vortex and into the bank and so we say by being in the receptive mode but here is a vibration that you have to perceive so here's this vibration and you are somewhere in relationship with it so let's say you've been feeling good you went to bed you got up you didn't get focused upon things that have gone wrong yet so you're still tuned in tapped in turned on the momentum of your vibration stopped while you slept and so you're feeling pretty good maybe you even brushed your teeth and had something to eat and meditated for a while so you're in a high-flying good feeling place and so you are in close vibrational proximity to the vibration of your inner being and because you are in close vibrational proximity to your inner being you receive an idea you're in the receptive mode and an idea comes and when it does you feel positive emotion about it that's vibration turning into a thought that's vibration turning into a thought in other words that's creation beginning to manifest now as you hold that thought you believe that thought you like that thought you focus on that thought you practice that thought you make that thought your own now that thought is so known by you and because you are the vibration of your thought that means that your vortex version of you and your 
physical so far manifest so far realized version of you is in the same vibrational place which means you're standing right there all of the resources all of the energy that creates worlds is right there pulsing with you there's no resistance on your path and now the ideas are really beginning to flow another idea another idea a rendezvous in other words this vibration turns to an idea and an emotion the idea and the emotion comes so close at the same time that you can't even tell which came first thought came first emotion immediately there and then more ideas more rendezvous more experiences more relationships more 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 manifestation more realization to the point that you're manifesting it in such steadiness that others around you are beginning to notice it too so the conditions start showing up because you have allowed the vibration to become the condition of your desire what goes wrong with so many of you is that when you're looking at a condition that feels good you feel good and so then you become sort of demanding that the condition give you a reason to feel good and we say it does not work that way you must find the vibration that creates the condition but you must find the reason to feel good unconditionally unconditionally when you find the reason to feel good unconditionally and why would you because you accept that you are vibrational because you believe in the laws of this universe because you trust your own emotional guidance system and because things are always working out for you after a little while wherever the condition is is irrelevant to you because what the condition is is just highlighting sometimes those conditions are actually causing clarity to come to you so that ideas are coming to you sometimes you've got the wrong person on the job and you think that what Abraham teaches oh this is the art of allowing allow them to be the miserable employee that they seem to be <laughs> and you just hang in there tripping over all the bumps that they're giving you all along the way meanwhile you're just focus willing yourself into oblivion <laughs> sometimes the path of least resistance is to take a step away from unwanted and toward what is wanted but we want you to hear us when we say let it be a vibrational exercise first and then watch the way it begins to manifest if you take action before you have really come to own the vibration then the action is harder if you can find the vibration of it then the universe will deliver to you the results that you want without you having to take such strong action about it but in any case in any case you're always on your path you're always doing just fine and you're worrying way too much about where you stand in any moment because where you stand in any moment is really not that important given the big picture it's like Esther driving she drives as much as she can find a reason to do it and so it's like Esther driving from San Antonio out to San Diego and think about how illogical it would be for her if in every moment she was taking a snapshot of where she is in relationship to the destination what if you put your windshield in the floorboards so that you could really study where you are <laughs> You don't even think too much about where you are now, 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 now. Cactus, 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 cactus. Now, 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 now. You don't do that. You can feel your on your wayness to something elseness, can't you? You can feel that. And so, don't make such a big hairy deal out of wherever you are. Just accept it as a part of this path that is open and delightful. So now now what I'm good <laughs> I'm good <laughs> you're done then our work here is done yeah. <laughs> if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you